so the most important terms and the standard definitions that is related to alternating quantity so this is the alternating waveform that is a sinusoidal waveform so 0 to pi and pi to 2 pi 0 to pi it consists of a positive off cycle and uh, pi to 2 pi it consists of a negative off cycle and we have a one more waveform also uh, that is uh, pulsating dc it consists of only positive off cycles so at t1 so this is the time t1 the instantaneous value of the voltage is e1 what is meant by instantaneous value the first one the value of an alternating quantity so the value of an alternating quantity at any instant you can define this is called the instantaneous value the value of an alternating quantity at any instant is called the instantaneous value the e1 is instantaneous value suppose at t2 the instantaneous value of the voltage is e maximum if you turn all the instantaneous values suppose uh, this is a tx uh, and this one is ty and tz so you will get the different values of instantaneous values if you add all the instantaneous values if you add all the instantaneous values then you will get the waveform so the graph of instantaneous value of an alternating quality plotted against the time on x axis uh, we are taking the time on y axis uh, we are taking either voltage current or electrical parameters and this is called the waveform and cycle means each repetition of set of positive and negative instantaneous values of the alternating quantity is called the cycle so during positive of cycle let us say this will be increasing how it will be increasing zero at t1 let us say one magnitude at t2 is 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 again it will be decreasing in a negative portion also minus of uh, 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 I means uh, maximum it is uh, you can assume that it is a minus 3 after that it will be decreasing so uh, plus 2 plus 1 so it it is a repetition of the values and uh, the two instantaneous values in a positive portion and negative portion is called the cycle each repetition of set of positive and negative instantaneous values of the alternative quantity is a cycle so we are having a positive off cycle and negative off cycle and one cycle is equal to one cycle is equal to two, 360 degrees 2 pi means 0 pi 2 pi the time period is 2 pi uh, then what is meant by time period what is meant by time period the time required to complete one cycle so here the waveform will be repeating after 2 pi also and this is a waveform and 2 pi and this is 3 pi and this one is 4 pi at 0 the magnitude of the waveform will be increases and the same waveform is follows the previous waveform or original waveform at pi s yes, it will be decreasing at 2 pi you can see it will be increasing it should follow the original waveform the time required to complete one cycle is called the time period and the frequency is the number of cycles per second number of cycles per second and the frequency and time period both are having a inverse relationship where f is equal to 1 by t and our indian frequency is 50 hertz our indian frequency is 50 hertz and the time period for this one is uh, 1 by f uh, that should be equal to 1 by 50 so it is 20 milliseconds so 0 to 2 pi the time period is 20 milliseconds for 10 milliseconds for 10 milliseconds it should consist of a positive of cycle positive of cycle and for another 10 milliseconds it should consist of a negative of cycle and uh, if you observe if you are giving the ac supply to the bulb and uh, it looks like the brightness of the bulb should be constant 
but generally what will happen within a 10 milliseconds uh, the brightness of the bulb will be increases and uh, the brightness of the bulb will be decreases during 10 milliseconds our eye can't detect that uh, change what are the changes which is occurred in a bulb so that's why the brightness of the bulb should be low, appeared as constant and uh, what is the next one is amplitude so the maximum value attained by the waveform the maximum value attained by the waveform is called the amplitude so that is e maximum after that uh, angular frequency it is the frequency which is expressed in electrical radiance uh, per second it is the frequency at which it is expressed in electrical radiance per second so this is uh, omega uh, sir, t and uh, on the x axis we are taking omega t where omega capital t is equal to 2 pi at this position the value the length of this one is omega t omega t equal to 2, 2 pi where omega is equal to 2 pi by t where 1 by t is 2 pi f radians per second where omega is called the angular frequency angular frequency uh, we, we know that theta is equal to omega t where theta is equal to 2 pi f t and what is mean by peak to peak value what is mean by peak to peak value means and it is the gap between uh, or length uh, distance between positive peak to negative peak let us say this is e maximum and minus e maximum and e max minus of minus e max that should be equal to 2 e max peak to peak value the amplitude if you want to calculate it from the peak to peak value the amplitude value is exactly half of the peak to peak value so these are the yes, important terms which is related to AC system and the first one is instantaneous value the value of an alternating quantity at any instant is called the instantaneous value the all the instantaneous values you can add it then you will get uh, with respect to time then you will get the waveform and cycle means each repetition of uh, positive values and negative values of an instantaneous value of the quantity alternative quantity cycle and uh, uh, time period is equal to time taken to complete one cycle is called the time period and the frequency and time period both are uh, inverse relationship frequency is the number of cycles per second f is equal to 1 by t and amplitude means the maximum value attained by the alternating quantity is called the amplitude and peak to peak value is uh, uh, it is the distance between the positive peak to negative peak and from the time if you are ca calculate the amplitude amplitude is equal to peak to peak value divided by 2 